finally that was the general sentiment in the indian navy as the defense acquisition council cleared the procurement of six conventional submarines now the project has been hanging fire for the last 21 years we'll talk about that in just a bit but first let's look at the submarines that will be built under project 75i I for India because it is one of the biggest defense projects to be approved under the Make in India banner. The biggest criteria to build the P75I submarines is that it is to have the capability to stay underwater for over 2 weeks. And this will be thanks to its cutting edge air independent propulsion. Our current submarines, most 25 years old or so, have the endurance to stay underwater only for a cup a couple of days, a few days. the strength of a submarine is its stealth the quieter it is the longer it can sustain itself underwater unseen by the enemy the better it is this batch of six submarines will be costing uh, some 43000 crore rupees and when ready these submarines will have the capability to carry 18 land attack cruise missiles and heavy duty torpedoes if you ask me why it has taken 21 years to get here I will simply ask you why are you surprised in 1999 right after the Kargil war the need was felt to strengthen India's underwater force the cabinet committee on security under prime minister Vajpayee approved a 30 year plan to build submarines 24 of them by 2030 they were to be conventional submarines all of them for 8 years things didn't move in 2007 under dr manmohan singh this particular project was approved for the next 12 years again it was put on the back burner in 2019 the modi government approved the acceptance for necessity the first submarine of project 75i will be delivered only by 2031 talk about missing deadlines now what is the kind of submarine that india will be getting The initial 1999 plan was to build 24 conventional submarines which means submarines that are propelled by electricity and diesel but there has been a bit of a change of plan of the 24 6 now will be nuclear submarines nuclear submarines are powered by a nuclear reactor this gives it two big advantages over the conventional submarines first unlike conventional submarines they don't need to surface frequently to breathe and secondly the power generated by nuclear reactors gives them the freedom to limitless voyage at very high speeds conventional submarines on the other hand run on batteries that have to be topped up periodically which means the boat has to become indiscreet by rising to periscope depth and extend its snout mast above water to ingest air now this snorkeling exposes them to all kinds of threat but conventional submarines have their advantages as well they are way way cheaper than nuclear submarines since their hull is smaller they maneuver well in shallow waters and make for good deterrence in your own waters countries like the united states of america uk france have moved completely to nuclear submarines but most other countries have structured their navies to include both which means conventional submarines and nuclear submarines India has 15 conventional submarines and one nuclear submarine. Out of them, 12 are really really old. At 25, they should idly be on their way out. In any case, at any given point, only half are operational. The Indian Navy has recently inducted 3 of the 6 French origin Scorpion submarines that have been made under Project 75, which is the predecessor for Project 75 India. On the day the P75I announcement came, we also bid goodbye to INS Chakra, the nuclear powered attack submarine or SSN that was on a 10 year lease from Russia. So we are left with a solitary nuclear powered and nuclear armed submarine also called SSBN. The made in India INS Arihant. The second SSBN INS Arighat is to be commissioned sometime later this year. INS Chakra's replacement from Russia will arrive on Indian shores only by 2025. Again, why do we need so many submarines? The answer starts with the word C. China. 
China already has the world's largest navy, 350 warships, 50 conventional submarines and 10 nuclear submarines. The plan is to reach a force level of 450 by the end of this decade. The world has seen China's aggression in the South China Sea. The Indian Ocean region is next, obviously. Already, Chinese warships and submarines are being spotted in this region fairly regularly. China is also helping Pakistan build its naval muscle. Under a $7 billion deal, Pakistan is on track to get eight Yuan-class submarines and four multi-role frigates from China. Now, the process of awarding the contract, which is the P-75I, is complex and will take at least two years. This is what will happen. The Navy will first roll out the RFP, that is Request for Proposal, later this month. This marks the beginning of the tendering process. Then the two bidders, Larson & Tubro and Mazagaon Dockyard Limited, will select their foreign collaborator out of the five that the Government of India, just by the way, has already picked up. Then a techno-commercial proposal will be thrashed out. Then both MDL and LNT will submit their final bid to the Defence Ministry. Both bids will be evaluated. The pair with the lowest bid will be awarded the contract. That is almost two years gone. Then add another eight years for construction. So the first submarine under this project, that's P-75I, is at least 10 years away. A good question to ask at this point is, why has India not been able to design and build its own submarines? After all, India inducted its first submarine more than 50 years ago. And the Indian Navy has an in-house design bureau called the Submarine Design Group to do precisely that, which means to design and make submarines. It's certainly not due to lack of money. In the last three decades, India has spent billions of dollars for transfer of technology every time we have bought submarines from Germany, Russia and France. TOT or transfer of technology means that India has the blueprint to build the submarines on their own. Now, why this TOT has not been put to good use is anyone's guess. But late or not, flawed or not, this remains a landmark deal. The clearance for the P-75I is landmark for two reasons. First, it is the largest under the Make in India banner. And second, this is the first project that has been cleared under the strategic partnership model. Strategic partnership essentially is a roadmap to give major military contracts to the private sector and break the monopoly of the public sector. It means that an Indian manufacturer will collaborate with a foreign company with expertise in making a particular defense platform. They will then set up production facilities in India and manufacture that platform right here. The idea is to cut our dependence on imports and ensure greater self-reliance. In the P-75I project, the first five submarines will be 45% indigenous and the sixth will have to have 60% Indian content. But hold your horses. As I said, the first one will come in only by 2031 and that is if...